Chapter 3 On the arrival of Assyria's destination, once the migrated Assyrians heard about Master Zen, the spiritual warrior's son, the chosen hero, has arrived. They praise and worship him as a god, giving him everything he needed to reach his true potential. He couldn't escape what they had planned for him. He had to reach a level of the highest phases of enlightenment, but it was through being patient, obedient, disciplined, and having self-control, which Fitzgerald didn't have the patience for. I don't have time for this. These stages of the Ash of Power, also known as the Atmosphere Hero Stages of Power, is a level of the inner technique of one spirit being in tune with the positive energy that produces and unleash of an individual gain skill to learn battle skill technique and once operated the right way which one special move the Ash of Magic spell can ignite a chosen Ash of Power Eye of the Elements which is to learn very little about this eventually turned down these forms of meditation not knowing that it was the completion of these stages. Later, Viserra stole an ancient forbidden technique from the temple scrolls and lied to the high priest. Copying down the skill, he found out that this actual magic skill was the ancient eye of the elements which every element was fused together to perform a dangerous technique that involved dark and light energy combinations. Now to come, Viserra turned down the blessings to reach the enlightened stages of power, also SOP. He became more of what he wanted to be, a legend of this time at the Temple Sith Monastery. Viserra reigned with an optimistic vision of change for the future of Planet Rise, a newfound emperor, empire, under the new Robo-Sith galaxy, where the greatest of all technology is designed and experimented in the face of the universe. As he got older, Viserra changed the whole living patterns of his planet. Viserra convinced them that he had a strong structural plan. Viserra wanted the blueprint to design a new city of high quality ethnic standards for basic living. The migrated Viserra was all confused but went along with what Viserra's vision was. The city of technology, also known as Tech City, that will be operated by his now created android bots and surrogates, developing a high class android robotic robot. And will assist and follow commands as needed for the people of the city. He also designed a general commander over these bots to keep them in full operation and in line of malfunction, which he would help and help them for Syria at all times. Biotech was a great program that made his conscious behavior and ease following orders and plan. He was created to serve his terms to help the migrated for Syria. Viserra became a mad scientist as he grew older. Also, he was a creative cycle genius that came up with ideas consistently. Now, instead of the Temple Sith Monastery leaders loving him as a chosen hero, they feared him by a new planetary order. He was fulfilling the destiny of a deranged lunatic. An underground laboratory was built for his amazing experiments, using the hidden forbidden science. It was under one of the tallest architectural foundation buildings in the tech city called Vives Tech University. A huge university school of technicians and technology of the finest in the galaxies of RoboSith. Any other galaxies couldn't compare what this university had. All students of science and other studies were welcome to sign up after taking an IQ test for intelligent standards. The greatest of minds throughout the galaxy of boys and girls that wanted to attend, and many came. Viserra and Biotech, the general android, was now in search of new ideas and experiments once all was grounded. Astronomers, humanoids, hale and cold. I am Viserra. But no one can. Now, he was coming to say, let's see. Viserra created suit of armors from the characteristic of the beauty of a strange bird. Viserra creation was introduced to another and followed by another. The mystic knight swan in the stages of development. Also the silver raven. They were called Astro Armors. Biotech tried on the silver raven astro armor suit, but the astro fuel energy faded out within hours. Viserra now was in search of an electromagnetic Let's source of energy ahead. that can energize its armor to the fuel, the power that would never run out. 
experiment after experiment. What is going on? Just brain child creating replicas of armor. Else. Actually, there were dozens that he had created. There were his galaxy armors created for a purpose to fight in a virtual battleground arena. But for Sarah, hid these armors from everyone, keeping it a secret <laughs> while waiting to rise to surface. These sweet armors were cunningly designed with a playing card sized computer chip. It has a different symbol matching your suited character. Once powered up within the armor's helmet, it will transform that individual person into that armor hero. You can choose whatever weapon you decide or choice of your armor. You also have the power of flight as you power up your wing boosters. But they were also in the stage of development. As the armor was created first, Galaxy Armor was designed specifically for the virtual battleground arena.